Hey there, this is Jason, and I'm along the San Diego Bay at the Living Coast Discovery Center. I'm in their compost garden. I'm also here to show you something that is buried in the ground, something that you might pass by and never notice that is inspiring me to make some changes in my garden. So I want to show you what this is, and I want to show you how I'm going to incorporate it into my orchard. The Living Coast Discovery Center is a aquarium and zoo located along the San Diego Bay here in Chula Vista, it's surrounded by a national wildlife refuge. And uh, the Living Coast Discovery Center is also responsible for hosting the city of Chula Vista's composting class and green initiatives. So there are workspaces, compost bins, both hot and cold. Over on the side of the pathway, we have worm bins for vermicomposting. And then in a seemingly unassuming space underneath a footbridge are two buckets buried in the ground or at least you can see the lids of the buckets so um, you'd have to investigate a little further to see that there's actually a five gallon bucket buried in the ground here now this lid has holes on it and if you look inside you've got tons of black uh, compost and the master composter that's here that manages this garden uses this as a digester. And a digester is a way of composting where you're using mostly greens and you're putting those greens in the ground and you're allowing those greens to break down and provide nutrients to the soil. So here, these greens have been in this bucket for upwards of a year. And if you dig down, you'll see, well, <laughs> The top layer is pretty chunky, but you'll see the bottom layer is more broken down than the top layer. And this process takes a while, so it may take upwards of a year to break down to a point where it looks like compost. And even then, after a year, you may want to add your finished product back into a hot compost bin. You do allow air and water to get in. And what you can't see here are the holes in the bottom of the buckets that allow for invertebrates to get inside and for the liquid from the greens to leach out into the surrounding soil. There's a variety of greens, including some eggshells there on top that may not break down as rapidly as some of the other greens. Um, but your finished product can be used in the garden. But for me, what I'm interested in more than anything else is allowing for these greens to get into the soil, allowing invertebrates to find their way in to aerate the soil provide a food source for them and improve soil quality in the surrounding areas. And this is really exciting for me because my orchard has clay soil and I've been working very, very hard to address the top layer of the soil to put down things like mulch. Adding mulch to the ground is great. It helps retain soil moisture. It does break down and improve the top layer of your soil. Uh, however, it's going to take years, if not decades, for the mulch all by itself to improve the soil quality to a point where your trees will benefit and the roots will begin absorbing those nutrients. So a digester is a way of getting those nutrients into the ground, down to the root layers, down multiple inches, if not a foot, foot and a half, and uh, begin to improve the soil quality and begin to aerate and bring in those beneficial invertebrates in a way. So when we first moved in two and a half years ago, this entire orchard space here was bare dirt and you could tell a landscaper had come in and just cleaned up every single leaf and twig and it looked nice in the pictures but that was the worst possible thing you can do for uh, an orchard. There was no moisture being retained and the ground was hard as a rock. So I've put five chip drop drops back here from landscaping trucks and I'm slowly rebuilding that soil health. Um, even with that however I'm not going to be able to pinpoint specific areas where I think uh, the ground is a little nutrient deficient. So I've specifically chosen a spot over here by two citrus trees that I think would be a great location for uh, one of these digesters. So right in between here, I've got uh, a tango, I've got a, a bear's lime, and then over on that far end, I have a variegated lemon tree. So I have two locations, two spots in between the trees where I can put two digesters. I'll uh, be digging down a little bit to uh, get those buckets in the ground. Tango went in two and a half years ago and it looks good now but that was 
really just recent, uh, it really struggled for the first two years that it was in the ground. And even now, um, I think it's produced maybe two or three pieces of fruit. So I think this tree needs some help. And then if you look over here at the pink lemonade tree, uh, it doesn't look great. Our chickens have been scratching and uh, exposing some of the roots that are underneath the surface there. And so to deter them, I've put up these cages, but that's just because I let my chickens free roam back here. So I decided that this would be a good spot for me to put my digester. So I began digging a hole, measuring out, making sure that my bucket fits and it does. So I have my location and as I kind of step back and pan back here a little bit, get a better sense of where it is in relation to some of the other things. Uh, I think one digester in this location will help benefit both of these trees. Here's the dirt that I dug out of the hole. It's about as dead as you're going to get. Uh, clay soil. I had to pickaxe the first four or five inches just to break through. It was hard as a rock. There's no way water or nutrients are getting through um, anywhere but around where the tree is where I dug that initial hole. So, All right, so I have all the necessary pieces. I have my lid, I have my bucket, mostly cleaned out, good enough. Uh, I really don't like the idea of using plastic, but I'm gonna give it a try. I understand this is gonna break down a whole lot faster, but um, the metal buckets are about 20, 25 bucks a piece, and uh, I have a lot of orchard space. So I'm trying to do it on the cheap in the beginning, and I wanna see how long it lasts. But I am aware that this is gonna break down eventually and it's not going to be pretty when it does. I have been collecting my food scraps in this six gallon bucket right here and uh, it's loaded with greens right now so I'm actually going to be emptying the contents into my digester once I get it in the ground. I really wish I could get a whole bunch of these cheaper than 22, 25 bucks um, because I would love to use metal. I really like how the lid is nice and tight but uh, maybe I'll have to just get those one at a time. So now I'm going to go ahead and put some holes in the lid and in the bottom of the bucket and along the sides to allow for uh, the liquids from the greens to uh, leach into the soil and to invite any little critters that might be in the ground that want to have a snack in the digester. So All right, so here's my finished product. Here's the bucket in the ground. You'll notice that there's a bunch of holes along the sides. I spilled some dirt in there, but there's some holes on the bottom too. Uh, the bucket is making ground contact, and now I'm ready to take my bucket of greens that I've been accumulating and dump it in. And so greens, I'll see you in about a year, and hopefully, this project works out. So I'll do another update if I can remember December of next year. Uh, but I hope that this is successful because I'd love to add more of these digesters in the rest of my orchard to help improve soil quality, but also uh, to, to compost the tremendous amount of greens that I'm producing now that I have um, over a hundred trees producing fruit in my orchard. So wish me luck. If you're doing something similar in your orchard, if you have a digester or if you've had experience using one, please let me know in the comments section. This is definitely me uh, learning. I am not an expert here, but I'm hoping that uh, I have some positive results as a result of this process.